بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد شيخ محدث ربي بن هادي المدخلي حفظ الله تعالى منشن some incredibly important benefits that we can learn from pertinent to our rizq to the provisions Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided for us and more specifically related to the issue of socialism which has to do with wealth distribution in the society and the Shaykh mentioned that there is no socialism in Islam that Islam does not reject the fact that people will be on different levels and Allah provides for them Howsoever he subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases. And this treatise was translated by our brother Abu Abbas or Abbas Abu Yahya Hafidullah Ta'ala. Sheikh Rabi said, It has not been possible for any country throughout history to make all its people wealthy. So it is necessary that there will be a presence of poor people and the rich, subordinates and leaders, the ignorant and scholars foolish people and intelligent people. This is the universal sunnah of Allah of his creation. Allah the Almighty says, truly your Lord enlarges the provision for whom he wills and straightens for whom he wills. Verily he is ever all knower, all seer of his slaves. And Allah the Almighty said, Allah increases the provision for whom he wills and straightens it for whom he wills. And they rejoice in the life of this world, whereas the life of this world, as compared with the hereafter, is but a brief passing enjoyment. And Allah the Almighty said, Allah enlarges the provision for whom he wills of his slaves, and straightens it for whom he wills. Verily, Allah is the all-knower of everything. And Allah Ta'ala says in another ayat, do they not see that Allah enlarges the provision for whom he wills and straightens it for whom he wills? Verily in that are indeed signs for a people who believe. And Allah the Almighty also says, Say, truly my Lord enlarges the provision for whom he wills of his slaves and also restricts it for him. And whatsoever you spend of anything in Allah's cause, he will replace it and he is the best of providers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in the Quran, And if Allah were to enlarge the provision for his slaves, they would surely rebel in the earth. But he sends down by measure as he wills. Verily, he is in respect of his slaves, the well aware, the all seer of things that benefit them. So therefore, Allah extends provisions, a rizq, for whom he wills and he restricts it for whom he wills due to a perfect wisdom from him subhanahu wa ta'ala and as a test for his worshippers and also as an affliction will the poor whose provision is constrained for them be patient so that he will reward them for their patience will the rich be grateful for the blessings of Allah upon them or will they reject the blessings and be haughty because of the wealth so Allah will reward the grateful with reward due to their gratefulness, he will punish those who disbelieve in his blessings with a deserving punishment. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who, if they are given, they are thankful, and if they are tested, they are patient, and those who are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala under all circumstances and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with us and forgive us of our many sins wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad